bother. You don't even know who I am. No, I don't even know what I'm doing here. We're wasting our time. I cannot teach you. The boy has no patience. You will learn patience. This is Ecclesiasticus 22 and 16. As timber girt and bound together in a building cannot be loosed with shaking, so the heart that is established by advised counsel shall fear at no time. I brought you some Komodo chicken. I know you don't care for it, but I figure it beats prison food. I admit it. I have everything I always wanted, but it's not at all how I thought it would be. The truth is, I need your advice. I think the Avatar is still alive. I know he's out there. I'm losing my mind. Please, Uncle, I'm so confused. I need your help. Forget it. I'll solve this myself. Waste away in here for all I care. All right, Shalom. 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 All right, we're the brothers of Great Millstone out here. Uh, Presently preaching in Inglewood. This is our after uh, slavery lesson. Okay, we're going to bring it out uh, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem This is how we do these lessons. This is how we function. This is what we do. This is our job. I'm the brother Yara. Another brother. Brother Gabor. Brother Shemai Ba. And uh, we're back with another one. And this one is going to be Be Not Hasty in Thy Spirit. All right, giving all praises, glory, and honor once again unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakaq Kadash. Give the double honors unto our apostles, our elders, and our teachers at Great Millstone that are ruling well and continue to do so. Salutations, peace, and blessings unto the 144,000 that govern in body and also to the household of faith. That's right. Unto you we say, Shalom, Lord's willing, this is an edifying lesson. And we're going to jump right into it. And first, we're going to give you the two most important things you could ever and will ever know. The name of the Heavenly Father and the name of His only begotten Son, their true and proper names in the ancient Paleo Hebrew. Our language, the Lashwan Kadash, which means holy tongue. Lashwan meaning tongue and Kwadash meaning holy. And these be the names that are written. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. Yah meaning He, Hawa meaning exists or is or is to be. He is, He exists, He, the existing one. For He is a rewarder of them that diligently seeks Him. And in the name of his only begotten son, the name that is above every name given amongst men here on earth to the Israelite man first and also to the believer consisting of women, children, helps of the prophets and those that have faith. They will be calling upon that name, even that mighty name, the name Yahweh Shai. Right. Yah meaning he, Yahweh Shai, meaning deliverer and savior. For that is exactly what we will come and do for the second time in physical form 
yet as an angelic force, for we shall see him as he is, and we shall be like him. That's right. The Lord's willingness is edifying. We're going to get right into it. All right, Joseph, I'm sure, huh? Come on. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 14, beginning at verse 16. Huh? And it reads, a wise man feareth and departeth from evil, Ooh. but the fool rageth and is confident. And is confident in what? Because confident means with faith, he has faith in his own mind, his own his own power. Mm -hmm. And it's going to amount to nothing because the power set in motion of the Heavenly Father, like in Romans, is going to take the dude out. Whether it be by, by gunfire, sword, imprisonment, uh, straight beat down, the man being stripped of all his possessions, whether it be his woman, his children, or his own uh, persons, he's going to be undone. But if you have confidence in the Lord, he's going to fight your battles. That's why I read... In the, in the beginning, it didn't say a wise man feareth. Yep. It made me think about First John where it says, uh, perfect love casts That's out fear. fear. <laughs> so if you have perfect love in the Lord and knows he loves you back because you're doing what's right, it hey, casting out the fear of whatever's going to happen. Like, they ain't going to touch me because I'm with the Lord. They ain't going to do anything to my woman or children because I fear the Lord. Right. I ain't about to do nothing to dishonor uh, uh, my Lord. So... Why would I uh, get in a dishonoring fashion? Why would I move in a hasty spirit when that hasty spirit is the exact opposite of being faithful? Faithful means to wait, be patient. Hasting is like, oh, okay, I'm going to do my own thing. Or, yeah. you know, you run into danger when you move in a hasty spirit. Yeah, reacting carnally comes naturally in this sinful flesh. Ooh. That's why we have to examine ourselves daily. That's right. You know, this, this thing isn't easy that we go through. And us coming in this walk have to deal with the different affliction tribulations and chastisements that the everyday man has to deal with on top of the spiritual fight that we have to deal with, <laughs> yeah. you know? So that's why when we uh, read these scriptures, like we try not to be hypocrites, but we try to live them out as well because that helps us uh, maintain on a daily basis. That's right. right. Not that's just right. on Saturday or whenever we hold camp. Yeah. It's how we conduct ourselves on our daily walk. A way of life. In your household. Because right. right. if you're over the household of faith, the church, you got to be over your own household, which is your body, first and foremost, then is your actual house with your significant other and your children, if you have them, or your parents or whoever is living with you. You got to be on point, and then I'll make them be on point. And if, even if they're not on point, your uh, uh, patience and, and, and calmness is going to balance out their madness, like well, the brother said. What does the scripture say? In your patience, because you so <laughs> right, you know? hey, your, your, your uh, patience is going to balance them out, like... Why am I even tripping? You just over there, like, <laughs> just chilling. You know? So they're going to make them chill. You know, you know how the children be looking like when they be doing something, they look. They're like, all right, okay, eat you. All right. <laughs> we like that in the spirit. Right. Go ahead, huh? Verse 17, it reads, He that is soon angry dealeth foolishly. Woo, soon angry. Because that's like your only go to. Like Esau and his fucking gun. That's his go to. But when somebody else got a bigger gun or the dude pull it faster than him, then he threw. Or he gets disarmed, Esau's done. That was his only plan. Mm -hmm. He didn't have a plan B or C or D. Our plan A, B, C, D, all the way to Z is Yahweh Shemashah off the top every time. That's right. Not our own might, not our own power. Even though we're men, we're in the realm of men, we don't trust in human things or human uh, intervention. Only in Yahweh Shemashah. And then this wisdom has been given us. Because the Lord said he's making us to sit in heavenly places amongst princes. Princes is making like decisions, like world changing decisions. But war can be waged by what this man says or don't say. Mm -hmm. So we we in that realm. Whatever you do is going to have a consequence on you yep. and your household. Right. And it'll trickle on down to everybody that pertains to you. Like this demon Aiken. He moved on his own spirit and got his whole family off. Right, quick answer, <laughs> Go ahead, Go Key. Ahead. This is the book of the prophet Job, chapter 5. Beginning at verse 2. For wrath killeth the foolish man. Woo! And envy slayeth the silly one. Woo! So if you envying how this man man probably got money quick, fast, and in a hurry. But the dude was a damn fool and a clown. And he moved hasty in his uh, gathering of riches. But he did it in a wrongful way. Either through murder or, or cunning or, or, or sleight of hand. Mm -hmm. And then his end is going to be clearly seen by everybody by the death this dude gets and then the silly one is gonna envy the same guy that just got slain like these rap niggas man you know this nigga just got slain then you wanna be the, a rap nigga and say the same shit he said and yeah. then you get slain wow. you silly as hell so when you see somebody else moving 
in a, in, a, in a hasty, angry spirit, you're supposed to be complete opposite of that. He coming with fire, you come with water. You come with the fire, hey, somebody else gonna come with something else to counter that. Hey, and that's not to say that we're robots in this thing. We're, we're <laughs> men, as the brother said, just like everybody else. There's a scripture says, you know, be angry and sin not. Yeah. You know, we understand for true into the scripture that we're yet this day in our captivity. And with that knowledge, oppression maketh the wise man mad. Mm. But we're still required to conduct ourselves in a spiritual fashion, man. That's right. right. That's right. Giving soft answers to turn away wrath. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, verse 3. I have seen the foolish taking root. But suddenly I curse his habitation. <laughs> yeah. Since his children are far from safety and they are crushed in the gate, neither is there any to deliver them. Ooh, mm. that is good. Now, this is uh, uh, particularly pertaining to uh, Esau Edom, so called white man, who is the wicked. But simultaneously, it can be applied to the nation of Israel as well. Mm -hmm. you know, who who, who uh, uh, comes in a wicked and uh, foolish spirit, man. Yep. You know, this can, uh, can uh, certainly befall you. That's right. Yeah. Be not like uh, 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 the devil. And that's why Yahweh Shai cursed out that generation. He said, you are of your father, the devil. And the lust of your father, you, you will do. Because mm. Esau going to move currently. He's a prince of this world. He's an asshole. He's a demon. But we're the princes of the power. We're, we're better than that. We're, we're more uh, uh, sound than that. It's like, well, we've been through all of this and our people are still here. Look at the patience of Job, what the brother just read. But then look beyond that, the patience of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. He's angry with the wicked every day. And he still has to uh, be subject to his own word. So we have to be subject to the patience that the Lord is putting on us. He may want you to learn something from that. May he wants you to get angry, but then no. Channel that anger into prayer and go to the Lord with your complaint. Don't be angry at the Lord or, or the situation. Be angry at... You know, just you can be angry at yourself, really, because these things are happening because we we went off, and then the Lord is gonna send you little, little uh, uh, examples here and there in your own life of how you might be acting towards Him. Your woman getting out of hand, are you getting out of hand with the Lord? Like you mm -hmm. you snapping and acting crazy? Your woman gonna act snappy and start acting crazy. Like damn, you the Lord's woman. The child is bugging out, not listening. Are you listening to the Lord? You the child of the Lord? Come on. These things play a play a role mm -hmm. in this truth. Mm -hmm. But then you got to understand, like, Job, maybe this is just a test of my integrity. Because did Job do anything wrong? Not necessarily. But all these things befell him because the Lord was testing him. Like, nah, he ain't going to curse me to my face. He ain't going to deny me. Even though Satan is saying, oh, because he's in that flesh, hey, best believe he will. I'm going to get him like this in the flesh. Best believe he's going to get angry and fuck everything up that he built. Or I'm going to do this to him. And this man's going to move in integrity and be patient and still build upon what he's already uh, 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 laying upon. Right. Instead of lose it all in that one split moment, he's going to build upon it like, nah, mm -hmm. I already know what to do. You got to identify Satan quick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just, like, mm -hmm. just like a damn cop pulled behind you up oh, and said, I have to say it quickly. You know when mm -hmm. Satan is around? Oh, shit. This is Satan. Satan on my woman. Satan on this, on this child. Satan is on my mother-in-law, father-in-law, my mother, my father. I know it's Satan. Let me handle this a different way. Remember, you're still behind enemy lines, so yeah. play the role. Right. Go ahead. Huh? Right, this is the book of Proverbs, chapter 16, verse 32. Mm. It says, He that is slow to anger is better than the mighty. Woo! And he that ruleth his spirit than he that taketh a city. Man, because it takes a lot of planning and strategic uh, prowess to take a city. Got to go through an outer wall, then the center wall, then the inner wall. Then you got to go through the actual army that's fighting against you. Then you got to go up against the people that might be in the city that's fighting house to house. So you really got to be uh, uh, keen in taking the city. But it said he that is, is patient was ruling his spirit. Because your spirit is like the wind. It could go any direction. Then it's not even of you. Your spirit comes from the Heavenly Father. And you have to do what's right according to his, his spirit. Because right. our spirit is trapped in the flesh, but we don't have to succumb to the flesh. That's, That's the right. difference. We have to have our mind in the, in the spiritual realm, even dealing in day-to-day -day human affairs. <laughs> right. We are not human. <laughs> like, my man, uh, I'm even, so I should have never raised you human. <laughs> he said, I should have taught you more, prepared you. He said, your, your life has been uh, 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 soft and painless. And he's like, but your true education begins yeah. now. <laughs> so the Lord going to take us 
through tests. He's like, man, your whole life has been soft and painless. But since, once you entered into the truth, you really understood, damn, my woman is the enemy. Like, those of your house also really do become your foes and your enemies. Those of our nation hate us for, for preaching the right thing. Then your own mind, because that old nigga, that old man is telling you, well, just give up, man. It's whatever, man. Who gonna really care, man? You care? I don't care. So your old man's gonna be telling you all type of shit. Or just sock this dude out. And you would've did it like 10 years ago, or however long ago you was back in the world. You be like, man, my worldly self would knock this dude out. But my new man, I'm gonna talk to this guy. Now, David was a man of war, but he also was a, uh, he was an ambassador. And he was a man of, of words. He didn't wanna go to war with everybody. A lot of times he sent emissaries back, hey, tell that king, cool with him. Tell him that, that everything's fine. But then a lot of times, those kings who still want to go to war with David, so the, the Lord will be like, will take him out. Right. But a lot of times, David was good with his words, even with Saul, hunting him. How did David move? He talked to Saul, finally, face to face, and told him, why are you hunting me? And then Saul found out, like, damn, everybody that was talking to me was lying to me about, about you. I will no longer hunt you. Because once David said, let the Lord judge between me and you, oh, man, that, that fucked Saul up. Yeah. Like, damn, sword and army ain't going to... <laughs> be able to go up against the Heavenly Father judging between us. So when you get angry, let the Lord judge between you and that person you're angry with. Who's in the wrong? Who's in the right? Because we're both uh, 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 worthy of punishment. <laughs> Remember that. Is that it? Uh, in that verse, you want Proverbs 17? Kind. It's Proverbs 17, beginning at verse 27. He that hath knowledge spareth his words. Woo! And a man of understanding is of an excellent spirit. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful, bro. I'm going to read it in the modern translation, and then you can read it again. Right. It says, a truly wise person uses few words. A person with understanding is even-tempered. So you have an even, you just like, you on just, I'm, I'm cool, calm, and collect. You in the middle, not too far up, not too far down, just right in the middle like, like Goldilocks. Like <laughs> Go ahead, Doc. Now, this Proverbs 17 and 27 again. It says, He that hath knowledge spareth his words, Woo! and a man of understanding is of an excellent spirit. He that have knowledge. See, who who is the power of knowledge? Yahweh. You know that he understands the whole situation off top. He's the one that puts you in the situation. Mm -hmm. Now, you dipping out of the anger. Like, all right, I'm, I'm angry. I'm kind of mad. I'm pissed off. I'm ticked off. But what does this mean? Once you step back and understand, okay, the situation, and you kind of already see everything playing out. Just like in a fight, if you're just straight angry, you're just seeing red, you're not using your uh, moves. You're not using your uh, your ones, your twos. You ain't you ain't getting off the line. You just, just socking, socking the air. But a dude that's calculated, like, yeah, all right, he hit me. Yep, I'm a little mad, but but he can't give me no more. Now I'm, now I'm bobbing and weaving. The other guy is thinking, this other dude just throwing – punches. And he's just going to evade the punches, bow, and knock the dude out. The other dude that was thinking and wasn't in rage mode is going to win the fight. The other dude in rage mode may be stronger, but he's not smarter. And he was more disciplined in his Ooh, practice. That's it. <laughs> Here's verse 28. Even a fool, when he holdeth his peace, is counted wise. Ooh, even a fool. So the Lord calling you out like, ain't you better than a fool? But even a fool is going to hold his peace when he knows when he don't have any words to speak, mm -hmm. when he knows that is not his place. Read that again, Bob. Sure. This is Proverbs 17 and 28. Even a fool, when he holdeth his peace, is counted wise. Holdeth his peace. A fool is a fool. <laughs> he can do it. A fool can do anything. But even he is like, I'm cool. I ain't getting mad. And this is a man of low uh, rank and understanding. You're supposed to be a man of, 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 of prudence and understanding. Right. How, how is anger getting to you? That was the once the old man, yeah, okay. Brothers can accept that, all right, yeah, that maybe was you in the world. That was the old you. But the new you, you got to have the B attitudes. You got to have another yeah. spirit. You got to have other weapons that you can use now. Right, right. You can use your words now. Back, back in the day, like, this is all I needed. You win <laughs> some, you lose some. And now we got the word right, right. To, to fight the battles for us. Go ahead, all right? It says, and he that shutteth his lips is esteemed a man of understanding. Ooh, he has shut it. Because sometimes you don't have to speak. Like, dude, just, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. 
Yeah, you want to get? You want to go? Yeah, and talk, probably say his hood or whatever, and on oh, 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 hood or whatever. Oh, 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 Hoover, yeah, yeah, on blood, whatever, on on blood, crit, whatever. <laughs> He's saying all types, of, and you just like just standing there, like so you ain't gonna say nothing. I ain't gonna. You got it, man. That shit. If you, if you say anything, you just say you got it. Yeah, and oftentimes your own when you're when you're speaking in a rage like that, your own words condemn you, man. <sighs> yeah, and it can get you killed. It tells you in Proverbs, I believe, 13, it says, He that opened his mouth, uh, uh, he that keepeth his mouth, keepeth his life, and he that opened mm -hmm. wide his lips, seeketh destruction. <laughs> Go ahead, huh? Quick answer. Kind of. I'm just still reading, bro. That, that, that was, was it. it. Yeah. This is uh, Sirach 27, verses 4 and 5 in the GNT. It says, Your talk shows your faults. Mm -hmm. It is like a sieve that separates. That separates out the rubbish. Mm. <laughs> the way you think shows your character. Just as surely as a kiln shows any flaws in the pottery being fired. That's right. God, so, so the way you talk uh, shows uh, the true intent of uh, uh, how your, your spirit is, man. God. You know? And uh, um, and I can, I can, I can just explain. Uh, it's like a sieve that separates out the rubbish, you know. The, the scriptures tell you that uh, life and death is in uh, uh, lies in the tongue, man. Right. You know, so you have to be uh, uh, wise on, on the things you you let come forth from your spirit, man. That's the spirit, bro. Cause yeah. um, oh, go go ahead. No, Sorry. I was saying that's beautiful. And that, that is beautiful because um, this ugly ass English language is, is bugged out. Yeah. See, when Jake was speaking the English, so to speak, all right, the Anglo, the Anglo-Saxon, right, that tongue. We speak in the King's English, the old English, which the scriptures are written in, KJV. We are not speaking this new crap that Esau has us speaking because really you're putting spells on people. That's why you got a spelling B. And then you have a uh, 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 cursive where they tell you to write in cursive and shit. You're putting a fucking curse on yourself when you're doing that shit. You got to write a lot of shit and, and sign your name and shit and print in cursive. So in a sense, this language is cursing us the hell out and putting spells on us but we had a hebrew so in the time of that anger start talking to the lord pray to the lord in the hebrew shoot say the lord's prayer in your head oh say say the prayer that david said in the hebrew all right uh, taking not thy holy spirit from me like at that moment you should think this is satan this is a situation they're trying to get me angry whether it's a person whether it's your family members whether it's uh, a nigga in traffic whatever you got to understand, like, Lord, forgive me. I'm, I'm in the wrong. If, if I might be in the wrong, let this pass. And you just start talking to the Lord in the Hebrew. Because brothers should be sound. Certain brothers that we are talking about should be sound in the faith enough to start talking to the Lord. Talk to the Lord in the Hebrew. I mean, if you got to do it in English, so be it. But right when you say, Yahweh Bashim Yahshah, and start speaking, peace shall automatically come to your mind. Be like, well, I'm talking to Yahweh Bashim Yahshah. I got to. You got, I got to talk to the Lord in a certain manner and way. You can't just, uh, you know, screaming and yelling. You can be angry. The Lord, like, right, I can tell you angry. You're not angry at me. You're not angry at the situation. You might be angry at yourself, but you're just angry. But you can channel that anger into prayer and talk to the Lord. And then he'll give you the answer. Like, go on, go and talk to that person real quick. Or just don't say nothing. And then that person comes to you, oh, my bad, you know, I'm just having a bad day, you know, just... The person might be having a bad day. You might be having a bad day and the person's having a bad day. But the difference is you have the, uh, the power of prayer. They don't. Right. You know the Heavenly Father and the Son. They do not. <laughs> and that's the ultimate show of faith. When during your afflictions, the first thing you do is seek help or guidance from your power. Uh -huh. The Most High wants you to rely on Him. That's right. Peace. <laughs> Go ahead. I got one more verse. Uh, verse 6 You can tell how well a tree has been cared for By the fruit it bears Ooh. And you can tell a person's feelings By the way he expresses himself mm. And it says here Never praise anyone before you hear him talk That is the real test Ooh, That's the real test, the trial of men I'm going to read all those scriptures the brother just read In the modern uh, You know, the KJV The way it was already written in And it says as when one sifteth with the seed, the refuse remaineth. So the filth of man is in his talk. And your talk should be uh, uh, with grace, seasoned with salt. 
I mean, you know, sometimes we drop the F bomb on you or the B I T C H. But hey, it's, it has its place. I remember I told uh, my mother and certain people, oh, oh, you can't say those words. I said, no, they all have their place. I'm not directing it towards you. But if I put it in the sentence where it, where it fits in, then, then it fits in. It's just like going back to uh, grade school when you had to place in a word that yeah. fit in the sentence. Like, what word goes there? Fill in the blank. Yeah, yeah. fill in the blank. The water. And let's, fill not, in the blank. let's not be hypocrites because even in Jake's daily life, they throw off all kind of obscenities. Mm. Okay, but then when it comes to the scriptures, they act like uh, we're uh, supposed to be all holy as hey, now. Hey, hey. The prophets came rough. Yeah. They used rude speech. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that that's part of Jake's culture, whether you believe it or not, man. Yeah. You know? And as the brother said, oftentimes it's used to instantiate a point, mm. you know? And if you don't speak to them in that way, they're not going to take you serious. Yeah, they can go right. you if you come soft. Right. You know, you oftentimes got to repeat things and get in their face, man. That's why the scripture said that, that when we come to speak to our people, the Lord's going to make our forehead strong against their forehead, mm, man. That's right. Adam is Jake, stone. And Jake is stubborn. That's right. Yeah. And really, uh, uh, your tongue and your hastiness really needs to come into play when you're before governors and kings mm. or princes or authority. That could easily kill you or imprison you or take everything you got from you like a boss or a supervisor right. or a lead. You got to know how to speak because you are all right. Say as an Edomite, he is sodomite like that. And you really got, <laughs> you know, you know, you know, you know, according to the law, I got to chop this dude's head off. He's a <laughs> demon. Lord going to destroy him. But you got to deal with him. Yeah. You can deal with him. And the scriptures allows us and teaches us how to deal with this guy. Like, I already know his end. Went into the sanctuary of the Lord, mm -hmm. and now I understood I his end. But why are you in the way with him? Hey, answer him quickly. Yeah. Answer him correctly, because mm -hmm. whatever you do say could be detrimental to you. That's right. Huh? Perfect yeah. account was uh, Apostle Paul and uh, Agrippa. Woo! That's it. Yeah. That's it. Oh, and 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 also when he's getting beat up by Jake, uh, uh, leading the other Jakes into the temple, but they was in the Greek fashion, and they was beating the hell out of Paul, and then the centurion came and saved Paul. Mm -hmm. I forgot. Was it was Felix. I believe it was Felix, the centurion that saved him. And he said, uh, <laughs> "He's like, are you gonna like uh, do this to a Roman, to a Roman? Ci citizen?" Yeah. The Felix, oh he shit! Roman? He he I'm had to grab him up. Like, I can't let a Roman citizen die at the hands of these. <laughs> you know, he was looking at like, the hands of these niggas, man. Because mm -hmm. even though they was Israelites, they was niggas. They was acting in the nigger fashion. They was moving hasty. They wanted to kill Paul. Didn't even uh, get a man a, a proper trial. Nah. So when Paul used his words. To save his life, saying, hey, I'm a Roman citizen. Felix got him out of there. And then he had an a, a, a actual trial. And then he was found innocent. That's right. But then he still wanted to make an appeal to Caesar. Because the Lord put it in his mouth. No, make an appeal to Caesar so you can get away from these niggas, man. you done enough. But even in that instance, Paul used his, his words and Jake used their words. Jake wanted to kill the man. He was free because of what Paul thought. In that very moment, he could have lashed out of Jake, start fucking throwing blows, uppercutting niggas and shit, you know? He was a bounty hunter. He's not yeah, gonna good. flip this, you know? Hey, don't the scriptures say that wisdom lead to in every thought? Yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah. And he was, he's the moving wise. Oh, shit. There's a centurion. I can use my citizenship to get out of this mm -hmm. situation and get these niggas off. That's right. Then him talking to Agrippa even saved his life more because he didn't have to go to the high priest and wicked niggas. In the Sanhedrin, yeah. he's like, let me go to somebody of a higher authority than these niggas that even these Negroes ain't going to be able to talk against. Who, who they goose step around. Right? <laughs> yeah, the goose steppers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, you know. But that was, oh, that was it. Kind of, I'm going to keep reading. But this brother read, this is verse 5. It says, the furnace proveth the potter's vessel, so the trial of man is in his reasoning. <laughs> it says, the fruit declares if the tree have been dressed, so is the utterance of a conceit in the heart of a man. So we know where we come from. We're the fruit of Great Millstone. We know how the men of Great Millstone move in their day to day life. They're just honest men, humble. All right, but when we on the block, is is any man's call? <laughs> we we superpower, yeah, man. Right. We shooting out a hot fire, you know. Uh, die line, die, die line, and die, die line. <laughs> Spit hot fire, yo. But that's on the block. In our day to day, we're, we're different men with Clark Kent. Clark Kent. Yeah. <laughs> you you wouldn't know us from nobody. Oh, no, no, you talking about that, that guy over there? No, he's he's as sweet as a, you know, <laughs> as <the> apple pie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's, a, that's what they would say about you. But then, because we're going to come out as some, some uh, scary guys. Right? We're going to be worse than uh, Green Goblin or General Zod and shit. They're going to. 
man, the D-Must is planet killers or some shit, man. Like, we the Death Star itself. But right now, we're moving in our day-to-day -day as un... Uh, uh, what's the word? Uh, uh, blameless. There you blameless. go. Yep. We so doing we doing what Yahweh Shai said to do, which is live in peace among all men. If it be know? possible, be possible. Now, if it gets to blows and a man is, you know, threatening your life, it by all means, the Lord gonna deliver this man into your hand. Yep. But if not, a lot of times the Lord is telling you, get out of there, yep. flee out. But that that was now, uh, you mentioned a soft answer turn it away. Right. That's so it. Move with wisdom. Yep. This is our verse seven, the last verse. It says, "Praise no man before thou hearest him speak, but this is the trial of men." So. How a man speaking, you know, certain brothers, even when we in a situation, you know, the brother is the most powerful brother speaking, but you can see a brother in like his talking with the cop or an authority. The brother has a very calm and, and humble voice. And it all and brothers might be like, man, this brother sound like he's afraid or scared. Not that he's afraid or scared. He's fearful of how he's moving in the eyes of the Lord. Like, fuck this dude. I ain't afraid of this nigga. But in the eyes of the Lord, I'm going to just talk to this dude as if I'm fearing for my life because you really are. The Lord can easily deliver your life into the hands of this man. Right, right, right. So it's oh shit, let me move a certain way with this guy. But everybody else, oh y'all weak, y'all weak as hell. Yeah, I'll be weak today, man. Shoot, it saved my life. You know, I'm not about to move hasty and act like macho man, and then I'm slaying some fucking place. Now, that's, right, that's the right. pride of Jake. They, 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 they don't want to humble down and take the L. Yeah, yeah. The, the Lord will right. definitely put you in a situation to do that. <laughs> so you don't have to bear the consequences of your actions. Yeah, like, uh, you know, just uh, you know, a comical example, like on a uh, dysfunctional family. Uh, Eddie Griffin was talking about uh, not stealing cars with his homeboys. Yeah. And he's like, oh man, you a bitch. He said, I'll be the bitch today. But you, you're going to be a bitch from, from 5 to 10. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in the pen and shit. You know, Being somebody else's uh, lady boy and shit. Yeah. Go ahead, I know you got some. I got some. Go this ahead, is, uh, Sirach, chapter 2, beginning at verse 1. Ooh. It reads, My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. You see that? Testing. Prepare it. Prepare your soul for testing. All it is is a test. That's right. Go ahead, I Set thy heart aright. Set your mind right, like your mind wasn't right. Like the, the beautiful brother uh, had a channel, uh, get your mind right, man. Oh. Beautiful, because that's really what you got to do constantly, daily. Get your mind right. The way you was moving was some, on some nigga shit. You would have been mm -hmm. in the grave if it wasn't for the mercy of the Lord having you in the world. Now that you entered into the truth, you have to walk with newness of life. That's right. Move like your Howard Shai would move. Go ahead, I and constantly endure constantly endure but the lord at the same time through all these tests is making you harder making your heart colder against these idiots and knowing that the end is near mm -hmm. and making you just like a, like a serpent upon a rock or a ship in a storm like you unmovable you anchored and you like a bird in the air like damn you so swift you get out of every situation right. or like a man with his maid you you real careful with that <laughs> these are things too wonderful for men to know but you know it when you experience it same with uh, not moving in haste. It's a wonderful thing not to be hasty. Mm -hmm. When to see the other guy acting like an ass and you just calm and collected. Go ahead up. That's the point for, for this lesson. It says, yeah. and make not haste in time of trouble. Woo! Make not haste in time of trouble because the trouble is only coming for the wicked. Is it coming for you? Will you fall into the trouble? Or will you just be like a ship in the storm? Go into the eye of the storm where there is peace and calm. And there you will find no evil. <laughs> Go to the place frightening the men. Go to Yahweh Shai. That's right. Men ain't gonna go to the Lord, but the men of the Lord are gonna go to the Lord. And we're men too, but man is gonna go to his own devices and, and his own strength and be confounded. But the men of the Lord is gonna go to the strength of the Lord and emerge victorious. That's right. So be not hasty with thy in thy spirit, man. It, it accounts for nothing. You know, you're doing this for nothing. <laughs> Leave it in the hands of the Lord. And Bob Kishar get that account with David, and we're going to end it there. God. That what he said, what David did, said he encouraged himself. We're going to get that. Right. God, this is the book of First Samuel, chapter 30. Begin at verse 1. God. It reads, And it came to pass, when David and his men were come to Ziklag on the third day, that the Amalekites had invaded the south and Ziklag and smitten Ziklag and burned it with fire. Man, so this can happen. Say you come home and everybody gone. Woman, children, everybody. Ramsack. Like, damn. What you gonna do then? 
Or you just gonna ride out, man, hey, go get, you know, get my shot, get, get it, get every, get it, like uh, uh, Martin Lawrence and stuff. He's like, call, call, call the name, call the air force, call everybody. Yeah, we, we, we got problems. <laughs> like, no, nah, call the Lord. That's right. And this is what David did. Let's go. It says, and had taken the women captive that were therein. You know, that's gonna blow up your spirit, your heart. Let's hold on. Didn't know who else was taken, right? It says, they slew not any. Either great or small, but carried them away and went on their way. So they didn't slay the women or the children, whether it be the sons or the daughters, but they just took the people away, but smote the city, though, and took all the, the possessions within it. Go ahead, So David and his men came to the city, and behold, it was burned with fire, and their wives and their sons and their daughters were taken captives. Ah, Man. so you are boiling up in your mind. The men's hearts is already boiling, but David is like, hold on, why did this happen? What? How could this happen? Go ahead, huh? Then David and the people that were with him lifted up their voice and wept until they had no more power to weep. Yeah, they wept. So they, they was in the right spirit of weeping. Who are they weeping to? To the Lord. Crying out to the Lord. But then you see how their minds is going to turn because that anger is going to take over. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, huh? It says, And David's two wives were taken captives, Ahinoam, the Jezreelite, and Abigail, the wife of Nabal, the Parmelite. Hmm. Verse 6, and David was greatly distressed. Now, David was distressed, too. He was in the flesh. He yeah. wasn't just, just like, I ain't, I ain't feeling nothing. Forget y'all, y'all crying. No, he was like, damn, he's moved. That, that's why I mentioned his two wives. Like, oh, man, my wives, my women. Go ahead, all right. It says, for the people spake of stoning him. Ah, see, the people got mad. It was like, man. It's your fault. We gonna, yeah, this is your fault. We gonna kill this guy. Forget, forgot completely about the law. Thou shall not murder. <laughs> they already premeditated to stone him. But what was his crime? Did he take your women and children? Did he kill them? Did he do anything? No, it was the Amalekites. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Go ahead. Huh? It says, because the soul of all the people was grieved. It was grieved. They was, they was angry to the point of, I got to do something in my own spirit instead of leaving it in the hands of the Lord. But guess what David's going to do? Go ahead. Huh? It says, every man for his sons and for his daughters. But David encouraged himself. In the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, his power. See, David encouraged himself in the Lord. Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, his power, man. And real quick, I'm going to get this word encouraged and went into there. Uh, real quick, that word encouraged, man, that's a wonderful account. Yeah, yeah. It always gets me through the situation. Yeah. All right, now this is the word for uh, encouraged. And the word there is chazak, chazak. And it says to strengthen, prevail, harden, be strong. We just read about that in uh, Sirach. It says become strong, be courageous, be firm, grow firm, be resolute. It says prevail. That's it. To be secure, to press urgently, to grow stout, grow rigid, grow hard, to be severe, to strengthen, to make strong, to restore to strength. Woo! So you go to the Lord, he's going to give you all those things back. He's like, you know why I'm doing this, right? To make you hard. And I'm restoring you in, in the very sense. You know what? I, I did it. The Lord is yeah. telling you I did yeah. it. What you going to do with this situation? I want to see what you're going to do. Play ball. <laughs> what you going to do? The ball's in your court now. You trust in the Lord. Go ahead, huh? Got this quick one to close on. Uh, Psalm 31, verse 24. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart. All ye that hope in the Lord Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Read it again, all right? It says, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart. It says oh, Psalm 31? Psalm 31, verse 24. Oh, okay, kind of. Be what? of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart. Woo! All ye that hope in the Lord Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. That's right. He's going to strengthen your mind to get through it. The mind is wicked and deceitful above all things, desperately wicked. Who can know it? We have to have the mind of a Mashiach. That's right. He knows that, hey, anything I'm doing is of the Father. A sparrow don't fall out of the, a nest unless the Lord sanctioned it. So remember that everything that's happening is of the Lord. And you got to remember, like, this is happening because of the Lord, and I'm strong enough to get through it. I just need to understand why it's going on and discover the truth of all this. And you know where the truth lies. And Yahweh Bashim al Shai. So be not hasty in thy spirit. It only leads to death and destruction and anguish and evil and, and regret. Yeah. It's all it's going to lead to. Sorrow of heart. <laughs> yeah. And you still in this flesh, you're going to have to deal with it. Ain't like you dead. 
Ain't like Lil' gonna kill you. So it said, don't bring swift destruction upon yourself in the, uh, it said, in the error of your ways. Or, I, I believe that's the scripture, in the error of your ways. Don't, don't uh, be hasty to bring swift destruction upon yourself. Pretty much like dudes that lose it all, they want to just kill, this, kill themselves, but they ain't really the way out. We can't do that. So, like David couldn't do it. He's like, nah, I'm just, just going to fall on my sword. My women are gone. They women is gone. They children is gone. Let me just end myself. No. He encouraged himself in the Lord. And then they eventually found uh, the women and the children. And done. the enemies. Right. And slew them motherfuckers to the twilight. Right. <laughs> now, that's when the anger could come out. Because the anger went against the right people. Right. Not against the Heavenly Father. Not against each other. Against the Amalekites. They was the cause of the, of the problem. So let the anger uh, swing towards the person that is, is needed most to swing towards in the Lord's timing. First, encourage yourself in the Lord and he'll direct your paths. Right. Don't lean on your own understanding. It's only going to get you hurt out here. That's right. That's right. You better check yourself before you wreck yourself. Right. You already know. But that's it. We're going to close out and hey, giving all praises. Glory and honor unto Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakakadash. Giving double honors unto our apostles, our elders, and our teachers at Great Millstone. Salutations, peace, and blessings unto the whole collect at House of David. Those of you who have been edified to the next time we say, Shalom. On to the next one. Shalom.